Chief Meteorologist David Carnes standing by this afternoon. And you know something? Uh, we, we've just had a nice little turn in the weather in the last few days. We sure did. Yeah. Yesterday was really nice and it continued today. It literally took a team of wild horses to drag me back inside <laughs> yesterday. It was so nice. Uh, nice again today to start our work week. I think tomorrow's going to be nice too. We may see the humidity and the temperature a little bit higher. We've got some cloud cover keeping us a little bit cooler in the heart of the city. Uh, right now, 85 degrees in Chattanooga. It's made it up to 87 in Scottsboro, 87 in Fort Payne, and 85 degrees in Athens, Cleveland at 86. Our dew points are in the upper 50s and low 60s. Guys, that's pretty remarkable. Upper 50s, low 60s. Uh, that means some pretty comfortable air, uh, maybe a little bit humid as we head through the next couple of days. We'll see those dew points climbing uh, into the mid to upper 60s and by the end of the week, the dew point values will be in the 70s and that humidity will really be in force once again. So super comfortable though tonight and Tuesday, a slight, very slight shower chance on Wednesday and Thursday. High humidity as we head toward Friday and Saturday you could probably include Thursday in that as well. We'll see the humidity really beginning to climb on Thursday. Better chances for rain and thunderstorms storms late Friday into early Saturday and we're going to see upper 80s and low 90s for our temperatures all the way through. Next tropical system that we're looking at, this is the one 90% chance of development and it is already being called potential tropical cyclone 5. Uh, as early as maybe the 5 o'clock advisory, we may see this as tropical depression or a tropical storm. Tropical storm Ernesto would be the name. Uh, the current path and area that we need to look out for is really the Bahamas as as well as the eastern portion of the Caribbean and ultimately Bermuda. Uh, this could be a Category 2 hurricane by Friday, the end of the week, bearing down on Bermuda. So that is something that we will be watching very carefully. It is expected to stay well east of the United States. Heading out tomorrow, maybe doing a little work in the yard once again with that nice weather, 68 degrees by 8 a.m., 82 by noon, 90 degrees by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And on our radar and satellite, you can see again that band of clouds working its way from north to south, cooling us down a couple of degrees. We may see the temperature climbing another degree or two as those clouds pass to the south. No rain, pretty nice weather. Northerly winds continuing for our Tuesday. Wednesday, we've got a little bit of a boundary. And again, I'm putting the rain chance at 20%. This may not represent anything. There is some model data showing nothing at all. So we're keeping the rain chance really low for Wednesday. I'll keep it at 20%. Mainly, we'll start to see the humidity climbing back up just a little bit. Thursday, east of Chattanooga, I'll put in another 20% chance of a spotty shower. Best chance for rain is going to be late in the day Friday into Saturday morning and then even Saturday afternoon a few lingering showers could remain. Moving into Sunday we will dry out once again. So for tonight, uh, we'll call it 67 scattered clouds, but overall very comfortable night into tomorrow morning. Most will be in the 60s, uh, 62 Murphy, 63 Athens and 61 in Altamont. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny, warm and pleasant with your high reaching on 91 degrees with the lower humidity. It's going to be hot. It'll be warm, but it will be still fairly nice during the afternoon. And our storm alert seven day forecast again, putting the chance of a shower or two Wednesday, Thursday, only at 20% gets pretty muggy, pretty sticky outside. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'll put our chances for showers and storms at 60% for Friday, mainly during the morning hours on Saturday, but one or two showers could linger into the afternoon and then clearing back out Sunday, Monday, and we'll also during this time frame see the humidity going back down as well, guys.